Refrigeration service up here in the Poconos and uh, in Falls Church in Plain, Alexandria, Virginia also. Uh, we specialize in refrigerator repair, air conditioning repair, and installations, walk-ins, any commercial units. Anyway, I'm here doing the Samsung refrigerator and I want to finish it out with uh, part two. Uh, it's my first video for YouTube, so uh, I'm going to try to do this as best I can. We've uh, On the first section, showed you how to take it apart. And this, this time I'm gonna go back in and I'm gonna defrost the evaporator with some hot water, the evaporator drain, and uh, put it back together. Okay, let's get to work. Okay, the ice chunk's been removed. We're doing the drain, uh, putting hot water, boiling hot water in the drain. And make sure you put a couple towels down here to catch the overflow. Okay, all right, here we go. Uh, got my handy little light here, which gives me hands-free stuff to work. These are nice. Um, I poured a whole pot of water down there and defrosted the ice, but in the hole it's still frozen. So I'm gonna give it a break and uh, boil another pot of water. Then we're gonna go in and finish it off and put it back together. I'm in the van taking a break. Uh, I don't want to stress the homeowner out being in there. So I come out to the van while I'm boiling the water. Um, so uh, I didn't mention it. I should be more detail oriented for you. This is my first video, so I'm doing the best I can. Um, those screws that we're talking about in the panel were Phillips screws. You have to remove those and then uh, defrost the, the panel. I used a hairdryer. In the old days, we used to had something frozen like that. They used to make them all out of metal. We could use a torch to make it faster, but today they're made out of plastic, so you have to be gentle. Okay, I'm gonna put it back on pause. Okay, back to our video. Down here, if you can see, uh, there's, the drain still has, you hear that? It's still ice down in this drain. Let's see if I can get closer. So we gotta do another pot of water, and then we'll get this back together for the customer. Yeah, the plug's going only one way, so you can't mess those up. But then you've got this one down here. Yeah, make sure your plug's not in the, underneath that plate. And yeah, we'll plug that in. Okay, that's back in. And they're back in. All right, now we're going to put the screws back in it. Uh, I have to get my hands free for that. Two screws in here, and there's a couple other little panels to put in. Okay, that one's in. This one I already put in. That's tight. Two more, and one here. Okay, then we'll see if the fan motor works. Okay, got the four screws back in there, and we'll put this panel in. And one screw for there. Okay, then we have a, uh, another plug-in here, which gets located over here. I'm gonna put that in next. Okay, it's easy to take this shelf out, to slide this in so it's unobstructed, no obstructions. And you plug this back in here, with the little clip up, clip in, 
push it back and then get two screws, two screws in the back here and here to put it together to maintain it, to secure it in place. And then you have to put these two little things in, make sure they clip in. Same with over here, clips in. And then we have this shelf. Here's the glass shelf. There's two little grooves. It clips in, pulls out. And there it's completely back together. Huh. A customer had a question about the temperature settings and uh, she wasn't sure, so I just showed her how you just press that to set the temperatures. And then the next temperature that comes up is going to be the actual temperature inside the refrigerator. Same with the freezer. Set on zero, but it's actually at 29. Okay. Okay, I plugged the box back in and then we're just waiting for the unit to cycle through. There's a delay and we'll check to make sure the fan works. I can hear the fan. There you go. I can hear the fan. You hear it? I can feel it blowing. Okay, very good. Job well done. And to test the fan, you have to hold this button in. And it has a couple of second delay. So it's a little dark. I forgot my headlight. You can hear it starting. Maybe you can hear it. I can feel it blowing. And I can also hear it. Okay, it's the end of my video. I hope you enjoyed it. Hope it saves you some time and money. This is Rick from the AC Pocono Refrigeration Service. Saying, see you on the next job. Tomorrow it's a tractor trailer cooler.